He's been a solid player for 20 odd years, Ronnie Baxter. He's a player that, uh, if you give him a chance, you know, he's going to take it. But he's up against a, a young man that's an exceptional dark player, and I don't expect uh, um, James Wade to make many mistakes. So he ain't going to get Ronnie Baxter nicking too many legs off him. Well, we'll see. Stay with us, folks, throughout the night. James Wade on the way after this one. And Barnevelt in control. Can't hit the treble so far. That's more like it. Tony Eccles with the throw, but 5-0 down. First to 13, go through to the quarterfinals tomorrow here at the Winter Gardens. Well, Barnevelt switched very early to the 19. I'd like to see him do that a lot more often. But I think we've got a Raymond Barnevelt up here that can play darts tonight and looks a lot more comfortable than he has done for a while to be quite honest Nigel. 100. you know he's not not cursing himself you know and, and when you're not cursing yourself you're more relaxed makes your action a lot more better but uh, the viper certainly can't get that first dart right he's got to start up and he's scoring if he's going to hang on to barnvelt now 140. Yeah, barnvelt in complete control and Motionless in his body as he throws the darts. 140. Another big score. Eccles will be looking to try and trouble the scorers for the first time here with a leg. He does have a bit of a snatch, does Tony Eccles on the release. The jerks when he pulls the dart back and, and overuses the. The wrist as Barnvelt fills it up. 124. Well, he went for a 13 and hit the four, but uh, it doesn't matter because uh, Eccles was going to get three darts at this, whatever. To get on the board, his first leg. Yeah, straight in the middle, that will settle him down a touch. A sigh of relief from the Viper, Tony Eccles from Harleypool. He's got a leg on the board. Uh, Barney won't worry about it. He'll just get on with it. Play his own game, hold his throw, and he'll be home and dry. Yeah, and we see the averages. Barnvelt, very respectable, just over 96. And Tony Eccles. Well, realistically, he's not going to beat Barnvelt with throwing an 88 average. And Barnvelt will go on from here and, and should clean the game up. 16. In his prime, he really knew how to beat you from two or three legs clear, so Eccles has really got a match on himself for himself here. Wasn't the best of visits from uh, Barney last time. That's better from Eccles. 100. His first visit to the world match play this year. And again, he's gone into the five. First dart, Rod, 84. is uh, a little bit wayward, and he's done that regularly tonight. Even though he's 5-1 ahead, that's been the story of the game for Barney. Well, it's been the story of the last six months, probably even longer, Nigel. The fives have been killing him. And against a player like Tony, who's not at the top of his game 16. at the moment, he's getting away with it. But against a James Wade or a, a Phil Taylor or, or a Colin Lloyd, you know them on their on their prime and that's why he's not been winning too much just lately and even the darts he aims the, the trip gets in the 20 they are right up against the five wire and now Eccles hits a five goes down the board nice cover shot 81 that was decent but Barnevelt now with a big score Put the pressure on Eccles, but again, that first dart. 94. Let's him down. He goes for the treble 18 and gets it, but there's that first dart again. Yeah, I believe, uh, Nige, that I'll just let Tony Eccles take this out and explain, hopefully, why I think Barnevelt is hitting the five. And he's hit a big one, which is a terrible dart. He's shaking his head. He, he did this in the first leg and all night. He missed the big number to have a dart of the double. But I believe as Barnvelt's on release, he's just moving his head a little bit to the left, and I think that's what's making his shoulder pull the dart over to the five. Needs double five. Oh, 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 oh. Magnificent.
Matheson. 6 1 he leads. Eccles was in with a sniff in that leg, but Barnevelt killed it off despite one or two wayward throws of the dart. And again, Eccles drifts into the treble five, but this man is in control. But as you say, Rod, to be fair, up against a James Wade or a Phil Taylor, it could well be a very, very different story. Well, he certainly wouldn't be 6-1 up. He may have just been nicking it. He's actually, you know, just under a 96, but he's got a very good percentage on doubles. Six out of nine, 67%. Which uh, you'd, anyone would take that, and that's what's that's why he's six one up. But uh, if he can just get into that rhythm, you know, just get the nice rhythm on, on the release, not moving the head, keep the head dead still. Yeah, in a game like this, if you've got a, a, a wayward first dart, you can cope with that if you're hitting uh, what 67%, as you mentioned, Rod. At the doubles, Barnevelt now looking to set himself up. That's a great start. Great start. Oh, just drifts to the left. Tall order for Eccles. Needed the treble 20 to start with there. 131. Good recovery, and Barnevelt now has to take this out. We go treble 19 ball. Eccles now with a chance. That's a lovely Tony last dart by Barnevelt, but Eccles needs double 18. Getting closer. Four no. score. Well, the first and the third one, the miles away, nice. The second one for weren't a bad dart. But uh, for a double break for Barnevelt, and I mean, he shouldn't have got the chance. Just slides a dart inside there. You could see Game another great camera the angle. You could see how big that first dart made the double look. It's like a wall that the first dart is put there, and Barnevelt knows he's just got to aim at that first dart, and it's going to slide in. And he's broken the throw again to add to his domination of this game. Easy. First to 13 legs. Barnevelt 7, Eccles 1. Barnevelt with a 1-1-6 checkout, the highest of the game so far. And look at those stats for the doubles. That's the story of the game. We've been making a big thing about Barnevelt's first dart being a little bit slack, if you like. But the finishing has been nice precise. One. Yeah, that's why he's in front. No other reason. He's only two 180s up on Eccles, but Eccles has got the tons on him and the one forwards are exactly the same. So it is then doubles that Barnwell's been taking out. And Eccles now, he's really, he's got to start hitting 180s and really pounding the treble 20 and try and upset Barney, but uh, Barney's a bit too experienced to let it go from here, Nigel. Absolutely. Been a great display so far by Barnevelt, but it's still one of those displays. He will know, and his manager Ed will know, that if it was the power, or if it was James Wade, as he goes for... 150. Trouble telling gets it, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> if it was against the power or Wade, then it would be a very different story, and he might have been punished for those slack darts early on. Yeah, Rich exactly right, Nigel. No, uh, Barney wants double 18. I'll just see if he can pin this first dart. Yes, he's very confident. But he, as you say, Nigel, no, he's not being.